I have 12 new items to show you and I'm going to show you them one by one and tell you what the glaze color is, the price and the number. So if this is something that you want, well, let me know in the comments and I will reserve this item for you. Okay, I'll mark sold and the number um, as soon as I um, catch up and know that you've requested it. So here we go. Number one is a turquoise and copper bowl. Are we getting that color in here? Let's see, here we go. Let's get a little closer. So it's turquoise at the edge and it's got this beautiful um, sparkly copper finish on the interior and also around this outside part. It is signed and dated. See, this one is number one and the price tag fell off. <laughs> okay, I'll have to get you that price later. Um, yeah, don't know. That's, that's awesome. We're starting off on a great, great foot here. Okay, number two. This is a set. It's an adorable coffee or tea set in a blue. I think it's actually two blues that I used together. I think I used blue rutile, which breaks brown. You can see like the lines, an area you see brown through. It's all one glaze that does that. It just behaves differently depending on what area it's in. And up here, I think I put some Arctic blue glaze around the edge, which is thick and it looks real drippy because when you mix two glazes together, it's like a chemistry experiment. So anyway, um, this one is number two. Here is the dish that goes with it. So you can have your little crumpets on there or whatever. And it's a two piece set for $45. Very cute. Okay, number two. Number three is a set, another set. These are either uh, ingredient dishes or what you call it, ice cream dishes. And there are four beautiful ice cream dishes. Separately, I would sell them for $20, but I'm hoping to sell the set for $75. So um, it's a little bit of a discount if you buy them together. And they are all gorgeous. They all have purple and turquoise and some kind of like a dark blue color in there. So they have, it's very much that Northern Lights kind of thing, but I think I also put blue rutile in it just to see what would happen. And of course, that's the smoky Merlot and obsidian. And seaweed, of course seaweed. I always use seaweed glaze. That's what makes that turquoise green on so many things. So, set of four, number three, $75. Oh, number four is interesting. Number four is a new thing. Number four has a cork. <laughs> so you can put your stuff in there and this is um, fire brick red color and it's got turquoise and bluish greenish color all around the outside and so there you go there's the cork very cute this one is number four and it is $38 I got that the ice cream bowls were number three right I hope so okay Number five. Number five is this cute little dish. Actually, you know, I think I've shown this before. This was in one of the other sales. It was just the, one of the few things that didn't sell. Uh, $25. Oh, stay for the last item because a number of people wanted the same item last time. And it was something really cool, but I only had one of them. So now I have one more. So stay tuned for the final item because it's really cool. So this is number five. And its color scheme is, uh, I don't know, and I don't know. <laughs> I think it's blue rutile and seaweed, actually. But I'm not sure, <laughs> but I really love it. I think it's cute. It has a slight little uh, place here. It's sealed. There's a slight little flaw here, but it's sealed up. It's fine, no big deal. And I like it, so $25, cool, okay. That was number five. Now number six. Number six is a cutie. This is the only thing like this in the sale, okay? It is a sculpture of a bunny. Let's get that sticker off him so you can get a better look at him. He's number six. It's a little sculpted 
bunny, one of a kind, obviously sculpted by me. He's really cute in his underside. Oh, there's his price tag. He's $25. And you can see he's, he's glazed in the underside, but just not where his feet are so that he wouldn't stick to the floor of the kiln. He's really cute though. I really like that little item. Let me turn this upward so you can see what it looks like when he's sitting on a shelf. Because he deserves to sit on a shelf. Okay, he's number six. And he's 25. There you go. So number seven is interesting. It's the large cappuccino. <laughs> this is just an enormous cappuccino cup. <laughs> number seven and this one has a smoky merlot blue rutile and seaweed glaze and some friends just ordered a bowl set from me in this and that is getting fired up tonight so this one is number seven and forty dollars you can eat soup out of it um, it's a good size it's a good size for soup good size for cereal and a good size for a small cappuccino if you want to be up for the rest of your life so, okay, so there, see, it's a two-hander for me. It's two hands to hold this thing. <laughs> okay, so that leaves us with number eight. Number eight is Wine Country Colors. It's a purplish with what looks like grape leaf, grape leaf's color all around the edge. It is number eight and nicely done foot says silversmith and 2020 here there's a spiral with some with some purple in the spiral and there's just drippings of the seaweed around the edge that's a nice big like possible size bowl you can put candy in it or nuts or something this is kind of a you know a display bowl or you can set it up on a stand and you know put it on your bookshelf or something like that it's totally usable all my stuff is totally Food safe, microwave safe, oven safe, you know, as long as you don't shock it. Try not to take it from ice cold in the freezer and drop it straight in the hot oven or you'll shatter these things. But, I mean, it's stoneware. It is tough stuff. I, you may have seen me try and break stuff. Like, if it's thin, it breaks easy, easily enough with a sledgehammer. But some of the stuff that in my, in my smashing video, like, would not break on the first try. So, it's stoneware. So, look it up if you're interested in what, how, how durable stoneware is. It's a lot more durable than the stuff that you buy like at world market and that kind of thing as far as i know because i've had some world market plates and they get chipped a lot and so far so good with my stoneware okay that was number eight so i need to get number nine here oh number nine's a beauty here we go number nine number nine is again the blue rutile with the that breaks brown there um with the arctic ice or yeah, I think that's the name of the color, Arctic Ice or something like that. It's this really light blue color, but when you stick them together, you get great, gorgeous results. And this bowl, not perfect, it's handmade. Um, the thing that's not perfect about it is it's slightly, slightly not 100% round. I wonder if I can get a shot of that. Hang on a second here. It's only... There we go. There we go only slightly slightly i can see it i don't know if you can see it but anyway it is a beautiful beautiful glaze and i just love this bowl and you know doesn't hurt my feelings you don't want it no problem um this one is only 45 dollars. it's a big bowl and it's really well balanced and beautiful okay so that was number number nine okay let's move on to number 10 okay just a second here. Number 10's coming. Okay, here we go. Number 10 is a honey dipper. And it comes with a honey dipper. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a honey pot with a honey dipper. Okay. It has mostly um, charcoal glaze with the ever so slight, ever so slightly, it looks like an oil slick on the surface. Like you can see some different colors in there, but it's really slight and you know hardly enough to mention but up here you have this really beautiful just this drip of turquoisey blue green color up here love it this is the one that when i sculpted it 
I sculpted the, the top part to look like a honey pot on top of a honey pot. So it's got a little hole up there where you could put a tiny stick if you want to pretend you've got a tiny miniature <laughs> honey pot. But it's a grabber and it opens and the interior is beautiful. Let's see. Get a better shot of the interior. And the top here is all glazed also. Getting my hands confused. Here's the top. It's all glazed and get that back on there and my dipper rolled away so let's get it get that back anyway it's got a little notch cut out for the dipper and it is number 10 and I only have one of these right now these are these are difficult to make so I make them one at a time and it's $45 number 10 okay moving right along number 11 this is the super bargain right here it's got black matte finish on it and it's got a wavy shape it's got the blue rutile and that's the blue that breaks brown on the interior. Super soft, smooth, flawless interior. And it is $15 and it is number 11. So that is a little, you could put um, short flowers in it and just have the flowers hang over the edge down here. You could put, um, what's that stuff called? Uh, wet foam, you put wet floral foam in here and then poke your flowers in it and you would have a really adorable uh, flower holder or you could put snacks in it or whatever you know it's up to you you could put dried flowers in it with the dry flow dry dry flow <laughs> dry foam <laughs> use your words okay so you could put your dry foam in there and it is really cute oh and I forgot it's got a little flower carved out of the front yep just a little flower there it's got a sheen inside where the flower's been carved that is one coat of the blue rutile so it looks brown and just shiny you can just hardly see that little flower that i carved in there all right so one more item that was number 11. number 11 is 15 dollars and the grand finale is da -da -da -da, this one yes we have another copper and turquoise mug for 35 dollars flawless interior oops Get on screen, lady. Uh, number 12, number 12, and it is $35, and it is this really cute mug, and I think I need to zoom out just a little so you can see the whole thing. Yeah, and so my thumb, my thumbprint's right there, so you can put your thumb right there and drink out of this excellent little copper. The copper developed really beautifully and has little variations in it, which is exactly what you're looking for when you do the copper and turquoise. You're looking for that copper to break up and the, you know, have a sheen, but still break up into these kind of floating. It, it almost looks like those rocks that have the floating um, flakes on them. Or what do you call that? Snowflakes, it looks like. Anyway, that is beauty. That's the last item. That is number 12. A number of you wanted the same mug last time, and this is the mug that y'all wanted. And I had to say no to a couple people, so here it is. We've got it. So if you want it, just uh, put your put your info, put your name below. You know, I mean, leave me a comment and tell me if this is something you want, and say it's number 12. And that's it. That's all for today. Thank you guys so much. I am so appreciative of y'all y'all being supportive of my artistic pursuits and. This has been great, so I really appreciate it, and I hope you, if you're on YouTube right now watching this video and you'd like to subscribe, go ahead and do so. It's free. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. It really helps me get more people to my channel and to see what I've been up to and maybe, you know, promote my, all my crazy fun that I'm having here. So, thank you so much, and see you soon. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye.